Hello, everyone. Thanks so much to Energy Fuels for inviting me to participate in your open house. And congratulations on your successful processing of monazite at the mill. This is a first step toward reconstituting a rare earth supply chain. Congratulations also on the launch of the San Juan County Clean Energy Foundation. Both are terrifically important initiatives. I am glad to join you and your distinguished guests virtually, but I also really look forward to meeting you in person soon. So let's get straight to the point. Nuclear energy working in tandem with other clean energy sources is the only way to reach our ambitious goals of a 50% reduction in our carbon emissions by the end of the decade, 100% clean electricity by 2035, and a net zero economy by 2050. Carbon-free nuclear power is an absolutely critical part of the decarbonization equation. And today, nuclear energy produces about one-third of the world's non-emitting electricity. In the U.S., nuclear energy contributes more than half of our clean electricity and operates reliably 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So beyond providing clean heat and electricity, nuclear can enable variable renewable energy, support the production of life-saving medical isotopes, drive industrial processes, produce hydrogen for transportation and industrial products, and desalinate and purify water. Our nuclear research development and demonstration activities are focused on activities that allow the full potential of nuclear energy to be realized. The Biden administration's focus on nuclear energy is not just talk. For starters, we're focused on preserving the vital clean air benefits of our existing nuclear fleet, and we absolutely must keep these powerhouses of clean energy up and running. So we're making today's nuclear fleet a priority by requesting funding to increase their cost-effective operation and maintenance. And that includes developing and deploying new and improved fuels to enhance performance and reduce costs. DOE is also working with existing nuclear facilities to further increase their revenue opportunities in market sectors beyond electricity through the production of clean, non-electric products such as hydrogen. We're also very excited about the next generation of nuclear energy technologies and with support from programs such as the DOE's Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program, U.S. industry stands at the forefront of innovation. Today, more U.S. companies than ever are developing advanced reactor designs with the potential for greater flexibility in power, size, and operations, ultimately making them more affordable to build and to operate. These concepts are real, and they're ready to support a variety of energy demands and applications. Additionally, these reactors can be sited at retiring coal plant sites, using the existing infrastructure and skilled workforce in those locations where possible. One of our Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program awardees, TerraPower, has made this their plan, and this is huge. We're really committed to seeing TerraPower's natrium-sodium-cooled fast reactor demonstrate that a transition from coal to nuclear can become a reality. We're also thrilled to support demonstration of the X-Energy XE100, a small modular high-temperature pebble bed gas reactor, which is planned for demonstration in Washington State. Both of these demonstrations will be operational by 2028 to help us decarbonize our electric sector, power our clean energy future, and continue supporting good paying energy jobs. And as we focus on the clean energy transition, whether we're talking about the operations of our current nuclear fleet or for our future fleet of advanced reactors, we expect the demand for uranium will increase. There's no doubt that a viable supply chain for uranium-based reactor fuels will be critical to the success of this transition. So turning now to your announcement regarding plans to establish the San Juan County Clean Energy Foundation, that's huge. Congratulations again. The administration supports a comprehensive approach to advancing equity for all, including people of color and others who have been historically underserved, overburdened, marginalized, or adversely affected by persistent poverty and inequality. Together, we must make sure that the clean energy transition lifts up communities by preserving natural resources and using less land to minimize our impact, providing equity and electricity access, and providing high-paying long-term jobs. Nuclear energy's 
full, clean energy potential is an important part of the solution. And the only way to deliver a healthier and brighter future is by working together. So thank you.